So I previously shared a video on stretches that will improve um, your foot and ankle articulation. So if you missed the video on plantar flexion and dorsiflexion um, stretches, I am going to share that in the description below. But today, another stretch that's super going to help your dancing, we're going to work on your core. And honestly, this is especially important for males because you have, I believe it's about 45% more muscle mass in here than we do. Muscles are not flexible by nature. You have to really stretch them to dance softly. It, once you dance and you hit your maximum of flexibility, you gotta use brute strength to get around, that's gonna pull on your partner, whether you're lead or follow, that doesn't matter. Um, it's gonna way make it harder for you to dance because you're expending all of your energy fighting your own inflexibility instead of soft, just like, oh, that's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Um, finally, especially if you, once you get out of syllabus, it's very important whether you're doing Latin or standard to show a spiraling action in the body. Okay, so it doesn't matter what dance it is, I'm, I'm often going to do a, this action instead of as beginners, and this is a normal phase if you're a beginner, just try the stretches, you can apply this later. Everything. Everything. <laughs> And that's normal, both in terms of learning curve and just body flexibility. Now, you will get flexible on your own friends if you don't stretch at all. But I underscore you, it's going to happen 10 times as fast if you just do this at home, once in the morning, once at night. Just hold it for 20 seconds, guys. This is going to cost you no money at all, no time at all, make your dancing much softer, um, lighter in your partner's arm without pulling on them, and make your dancing look better and function better. Okay, so in terms of your core, this is your center, okay? Um, number one, my suggestion, lower in the legs, and as much as you can, if you need to stand in front of your closet mirror, that's fine. Go ahead and poke your knees to the right, and make sure when you're looking in the closet, we're not here, we're not dropping anything. We're gonna pretend like we have airplane wings, and the lower you go, the more you're gonna have to lift this side. You might even think about holding something in your hand while you're doing that with your palm up, because that's kind of foolproof. If you're on the dance floor, you have a ball here, and you drop the ball, you go, oh, you jump aside. You'll be surprised if you rely on just your senses. You're probably here, whether you're a man or lady, and you really wanna be even Steven. So my little cheat is when I'm dancing, I pretend my judges are dyslexic, okay? So my number tilts, having on this, they can't read my numbers. So I'm always thinking about parallel number to the floor, parallel number to the floor. And I'm gonna do that stretch both ways, okay? Depends if I were in a, a wing position or a closed position. An outside of partner position is going to be even more. I also suggest to make it easier, um, cross the leg short and think about stretching this hip to the partner. Do that both directions. So a common mistake I see is people are going up the ranks, this is normal, is CBM and they're not actually stretching in here at all. They're just uh, well, worst case scenario between this, next best, but not so good, would be just the shoulders. And ideally, um, in ballroom and lats, we want to initiate our rotation from the floor up. So if you think feet and hip first, that'll help you when you're doing these stretches. So foot, knees, hip, and the body follows that, okay? Um, so I hope that helps, guys. We're thinking about stretching the torso. It'll make your dancing softer and more comfy for your partner to dance with you. So thanks for joining me today. If you have any questions, hey, comment below because I just want to share stuff that might be helpful to you. 
Um, this is not a substitute for private lessons with your pro guys, because I don't see your dancing. I really gear these videos towards my own students and the ballroom dancing I see, you know, in my area of the country. I'm broadcasting from the northwest um, coast of the United States. Um, but if you like all things ballroom dance, hit the uh, subscribe button, and I'll see you tomorrow with some more ballroom dance stuff. Bye.